Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor. As such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the build-up, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Pistol! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Nice kick landed there by McGregor. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. Big ball once lands. Now we get back to range. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, nice straight left. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. McGregor gets the tie clinch here. Caught the kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by McGregor. Back to the well with the uppercut. Now it's true. Leg and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the elbow there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. McGregor's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, add that to his highlight reel. The wheel kick is good. Immediately gets the underhook. Changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head to the flinch. Dig and kick. Right on the button. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Huge shots there. So 58 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. That one's right there. Nice. Right. Oh! Give me a double leg. Give me a double leg. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. He blocks the punch. Oh, man. Good stick to the body. That is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip, and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasing. Oh! He didn't like that so he's strong five minutes down. Now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. And they separate. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick. Got a single collar tie. Just misses with a left hook there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes. And really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. You go home and admire your work. It doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That's a good strike there by McGregor. And he continues to work the body here. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Hands up for me. Come on now. Single collar tie now. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, that straight punch. Knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, he's up. But, oh, is he hurt. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Big elbow! Visibly limping here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. There's no give on that leg kick. Strikes there by Connor. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. A beautiful body to land right under the elbow. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Beautiful head kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his leg well yet again. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Whoa! Those five 
five minutes. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something over. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.